Hello everybody and welcome back to How to Minecraft here, and I'm here again with Choco from the previous episode, and we just got done looting a underwater sea temple type thingy. Uh, yeah, so we have a ton of these cool resources to play with, and uh, we haven't had a chance to really bring it back yet, just because, well, Choco's house was kind of a middle point for this compared to our house, so we figured we'd stop here and get the next episode ready to go for you guys, which is a tour of Balam. And in this episode, I want you as the viewers to keep in mind one simple thing, and that is just, if there's something here you like that you think we should build in this series, comment it down below. Obviously, this series thrives off of the comment section from you guys, uh, and just your suggestions and things you want to see. So please, let me know if there's anything here that interests you that you want to see done, and uh, we can either build it ourselves, or if it's something too complicated i'm sure uh but a choco would be happy to help hopefully so indeed i would but before we get started with the tour enjoy a complimentary apple just chomp on it and you can be on your merry way really hmm. i get to keep one you get to eat it right now we'll give you some on the way out too if you want some more oh my god i love this place already mm -hmm. we have to be all full of swagger when we're up in here all right so show me around buddy because this i've heard stories of that one mm -hmm. so this is the port area there's not really much here. There is Fisherman Flynn who kind of sits behind his little cranny here. You can huh. trade him a couple of things, uh, but nothing really all that special. He can cook you fish for the price of an emerald, which is ridiculous. So Wait, he'll cook it for you? How so? I can't talk to him. What? Talk to him. Here. Talk to me. There he is. So... Oh. Oh, wow. So you give him an emerald? Oh, yeah. He's a rip-off artist. Yeah, Boy. he's kind of a con, honestly. Jeez, a whole emerald that cooks some fish? Yeah, isn't that weird? The economy of Minecraft is very strange. Villagers have very strange tastes and things. But, it's a port. Think about maybe putting something for excellent catches and stuff. I'm not really sure what we're going to do with that yet. Then over here we have a very basic sugarcane farm. And, whoop. Uh, yep. Block update. Automatically collects it. Takes care of it. Puts it into there. So wait, how does, because I need to build a sugarcane farm for myself, actually. How does one of these work exactly? Okay, so, oh, Jesus. Yeah, whatever the sugarcane, like, you know how the cactus farm works? Whenever it grows, it just breaks it. Yeah, yeah. So it's similar concept. Whenever the sugarcane grows, since you know where it's going to be, this redstone up here, uh -huh. it checks for a block update. Whenever the block updates, it triggers the redstone, it kind of pulses it, and all the pistons fire. It breaks whatever uh, is How there. does it trigger a block update? Because the that little space, like right above the sugarcane, yeah, the redstone, the way the redstone, and the pistons are set up, it'll look for an update in that space. So if something appears there, the game goes, "Wait a minute, what's going on?" And it'll pulse the signal, and it'll, that's the way it kind of like works, is my understanding. So basically, if I were to put anything in that slot right here, it updates. Choco, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. I hope you know you're you're a, you're a mad genius. Mm mm. This is I mean this is based off of stuff from like tons of people after having played Minecraft for ages. Um, Jeez. This is yeah. This is just something that works pretty well. So. Well, I mean I I love it. In fact, maybe because we were gonna do a future episode together when we go and work on the uh, automatic chicken cooker. Would you mind helping me out and help me with one of these? Yeah, sure. We can do that. Um, well, that'd be awesome. You're, you're gonna need some pistons though. <laughs> oh, how do we get those? I mean, it's just a lot of, like, cobblestone, wood, iron, redstone. Oh, well, that's not too bad, but we can make some of those. We also need wooden comparator. Uh, how do you make a comparator? I've never made one of those. Quartz, redstone torches, and dust. Oh, and stone. that's going to be the problem. Quartz. Ooh. <laughs> okay, maybe I'll approach you with that idea at a later time when I actually get some nether quartz. <laughs> I mean, it's not, yeah, it's, we'll be fine. We'll figure it out, I'm sure. But cool. here's my bay. Okay. Cobblestone nice. generator. Oh, just your average cobblestone generator? Oh, but I love this one. I don't know what it is about this. Kenny originally built one, and I looked at it, and I kind of fell in love with it, and I have a hard time looking away from its beauty. I always get mad at cobblestone generators because the cobblestone always just falls into the uh, lava. Oh, come here. Come what? Here. Come here. What's that? Just come here. What are you doing? Come here. I don't trust you. No, come here. See this cobblestone that I'm punching? Yeah. Just stand right in front of it and just hold down left click with your pickaxe. Okay. Okay. Watch. But, yeah. Oh, for the love of. What? 
Choco, what, what am I looking at here, bud? One. All right, no. What the heck? <laughs> oh my dear God. All right, well, you know, if I could comment in the comment section, I'd say this is what I'd want to see in the future. Um, this is insane, Choco. Yeah, this is the cobblestone generator. It's oh. actually quite simple too, so. Well, I love it. <laughs> yeah, it's like the redstone is just basically a bunch of dust, a bunch of repeaters, and that's it. Jesus. Yeah. All right, one of these days, you got to help me out with this, bud. Please. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. All I mean, right. I like to kind of work on these projects. They're fun, and I might try to make a better version for you. Let's see. I've cool. kind of been messing around with a couple of ideas. Might have something. We're not sure yet. Anyways, here's our nether wart farm. Here's our rail duplicator, which... A couple of people have called me out on and been like, that's cheating. Wait, it just duplicates rails? Well, it doesn't duplicate any rail. It duplicates the special rails. Um, oh, is it like a glitch in Minecraft or something? Mm -hmm. Let me go get Okay, well, okay. Well, the live viewers don't, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll throw it out in lava. We're not going to use it. I'm just curious to see how it works. How, how does it, how do you yeah. do this? Go, oh, jeez, Louise. What happened? Got a donation. Twenty dollars from two good for noobs. Love your stream. Maybe you should drum your iron and gold farm. Yep, yep. I will show him that later. Oh, well, that was nice of that person. Choco streaming right now as usual. So yeah. All right. So you put a rail down. Click the switch. Now you have two rails. Now you what? have four rails. What the heck? And it just keeps going. And they just what? Breed. And you just keep on making more and 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 more. Works with activator rails, detector rails, powered rails. That's... <laughs> it's a handy thing to have. <laughs> I wonder why it duplicates them. It's because it, it, it gets confused. It thinks that there's supposed to be another rail that's pulling back, but they're not supposed to, so it just kind of breaks them both. They think they're colliding with each other because it's going too fast. It's that's hilarious. Yeah. Oh my it's... god, well, that's super cool. Yeah, it's just really nice whenever you're like, I don't really want to spend time crafting all this stuff. Cause... Yeah, I mean, I, I'd leave it up to your, your viewers on that one. I don't think I'm going to build one of those anytime soon, just in case. But uh, but I yeah. like it. I love the concept. I mean, for me, it's more of a, I can make them. I have a lot of the resources, so it's just more of saving time than anything else. But, yep. Um, villager farm over there, they capped out. This is, a, this is what a hard limit farm looks like. A hard limit farm? Mm -hmm. So you see how like the potatoes are fully grown. They're not really breeding like you just see no babies or anything like that Yeah, yeah, it's because they hit their village cap. So they actually are maxed out They won't go above this now if I were to kill one they'd automatically replace them, but um, These guys will breed in here. Maybe maybe by the time I Sorry friend Yep, you see the heart instantly pop up. Oh wow, so they just instantly breed well, it's not quite instant, but these guys are probably quite ready to go because they're really saturated. So oh my these guys. God, are... look at there's a love affair going on down there. <laughs> yeah, they're competing to see who gets the first one. But it's uh, this one is really simple to make. This it re just requires like zero knowledge of anything. All you need to do is you need to give them a patch of potatoes, carrots, wheat, whatever, and then you just have to add a bunch of doors like this on the side, and they'll just breed. Jeez, so many things that I'd love to do. Oh my god. The comment section, I think, is just going to be flooded with ideas now. And I'm going to have to choose, like, well, not that I have to choose one. I'll have to, I mean, I can just, you know, change it up a bit, but. Mm. And then these are just animal pens, not too crazy. This chicken one is the design that, well, the basic idea behind it is what we're going to hopefully be adding to yours. Okay. So the chickens lay the eggs, kind of like what you have. But if you come down here, you can see the little babies. Oh my god, that's so terrible. Yeah, and then when they grow up, they get crispier. They oh, and you get to collect there. the feathers, though, too, for, for arrows. Mm -hmm. So they cook for you, and they gather feathers for you. It just always runs. You can also change it up a little bit so you can collect the eggs instead or whatever else, but I've never really needed... Oh, one of them's cooking right now. No, I mean, I, I have plenty of... I mean, who needs the eggs? You can do that anytime. Yeah. yeah. So, but yep, yeah, that's the basic idea behind it. It's pretty condensed, actually. So wow. Cool. Well, dude, I mean, I would love if, if you could help me out with that one day. Mm. Well, that's, actually, we're, we're doing that very soon. Yeah, that's, that's a, that is the next plan. I mean, it won't, 
I don't want to put it up immediately just because I have some other ones that I want to do before then, but it'll probably be up on Tuesday for my viewers. So if you're watching this, you know, the days that they actually uh, go up, you know, being this is Saturday, this will go up uh, Tuesday. So in a couple days. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You ready for this? Sure. This what we're looking at? Automatic wheat farm. Wheat and seeds. How do you automatically get wheat? In 1.8, they made these. Anyone that has a brown coat is secondly within the farmer class. Um, all these guys will harvest stuff for you. Now, this guy has an inventory full of seeds, so whenever he breaks anything of wheat, he gets the seeds back. So he's always full of seeds, and never has wheat, and he'll just keep on planting it. How do you? Like, can you planting. look at his inventory? Mm -mm, well, not unless you kill him. And huh. can, oh, actually, no. Even then, you, can, you just never can see it. So. Okay. So he has a full inventory seed. He just keeps planting them and. and... And where does he deposit the wheat when he's done? And that's what we can show you here. Good sir, good baka. Yeah. You're very polite. Thank you for shutting the fence door. Well, of polite. course, you don't want the villager running away. And then, there you go. Sam, I never told you you're a madman. <laughs> it's actually, this was a funny story. So this is one of the tougher lessons I learned about Minecraft. Number one. Wait, where'd the cart go? It's going into the docking oh. station and it's dropping off all the stuff. So. It's really weird. Farmland is not considered to be a full block, so it acts like a slab. So that can that. rip the seeds through the ground. Mm -hmm. Wheat, seeds, whatever. I've even gotten some spider stuff because spiders will wander in there every now and then. The golems kind of have their way with them. But uh, oh, yeah. that's where the golems there is a guard. Yeah, they're there for guards and also for company. I felt bad after a while that he was alone. They give him flowers every now and then. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of nice. Oh um, my god. So that's the automatic weed farm. What that's nice for, honestly, though, is because we have a stable here. It's a basic, it's a super basic stable, but we are collecting horses. We'll start selectively breeding and trying to get really strong horses in the future, but for now, this works. Jeez. Choco. Balam is insane. You're putting Marome Island to shame. And granted, I'm only like 10 episodes in, but I mean. But this is a this is a designed to be a resource station. This isn't my base. This is just designed to be a place to gather resources. A lot. So this isn't. This isn't my base, no. Dear God, kill me. <laughs> what is I mean, what is what does the Balam base look like? Um, well, the keep is the base, and that's a ways. I haven't really worked on it too terribly much, so it's kind of still in construction. But um, I wanted to make sure I got all this done. Now we're going to go into the parts that start getting really nice. Leather worker Larry here. He'll trade you eight emeralds for a saddle, which is nice. So you have an infinite source of saddles. Oh, okay. But how do you get more emeralds? Well. Keep on coming and I'll show you. That's so that's so the cool. crafting guild. Now these bad boys are hype. Check out the trades on them. Armorer Arnold? Oh my god. So you just give him 20 coal and he gives you an emerald. Yeah, but more importantly, trade him some emeralds for a diamond chest plate. Oh, he's a ripoff though, Armorer Arnold. Look at that, four diamonds for one emerald? Who does he think he is? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They have really weird ideas of what things are worth. <laughs> now, I guess the only one that's good, though, is the... Because you have an iron golem farm, you could just do iron for emeralds. Because those are the only renewable resource, really. Well, you can also get coal from weather skeletons as well. But, I mean, these aren't really for emeralds. You can just get really hype stuff. Like, you can get diamond chest plate. You can get um, diamond pickaxes and all that stuff. Like, this guy here offers fortune 2, efficiency 3. And Tom offers Silk Touch and other stuff, so it's pretty nuts. And then, obviously, these guys offer Diamond Sword and Diamond Axe, so... This is so cool, dude. Yeah, you don't have to spend a single diamond for any of your tools, basically, with the exception of the shovel. And the diamond hoe, I guess, but... Dude, I'm loving this place. Can yeah. I stay here forever? <laughs> I invited you to move in, if you would like to. Well, no, we Mural Island's too sexy. I know, I know. I would never take you away. That is why I let you go. Now this guy, this we'll go. Church. Yeah, this is a church. It's a cleric. Cleric but, Clyde. Mm -hmm. Now I'll show you whenever we actually get up there, so I can show you how it works. But basically, cleric Clyde here. He'll trade rotten flesh, which you can get from zombies, and just you can have a zombie spawn or whatever. You can trade him that for emeralds. Just keep on going. Also trade you gold ingots for emeralds, which we can keep going. And then more importantly, he'll also trade you a bunch of other random stuff like redstone, lapis, and stuff like that. So it's a good it's a good place to go stop by whenever you need to like refresh your like resources and whatnot. 
So he's a pretty good staple for emeralds. Oh. You're scaring me. No, don't be scared yet. The scary part is yet to happen. I'll show you what makes Balam Balam in a second here. But, but Choco. But Choco, don't worry. Baby. Oh my god, where are all those villagers? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, hold on. That's not yet. Don't, don't skip to the good part just yet. Now this, these group here, these are like the different kinds of farmer type people. They are really good, especially Fabio over here. He is the Emerald Bay in terms of vanilla Minecraft. You don't have any. How did you get farms. this guy to give you like all the different types of wool? Um, you have to keep on trading with them. If you keep trading with them, they'll open up new trades. And so I think these three are maxed out. With no, well, I was not maxed out, but Fabio and Sherman are both maxed out. And now, do the villagers naturally have like a certain pattern to their trades? Because this guy has all the wool, so he's like supposed to be a woolman. Yeah. So this guy is a shepherd. Um, this guy is a farmer, and you can tell like whenever you click on them in their natural state, they'll tell you what they are. So Fabio here will trade you like we have a wheat farm. Wait, right? in their natural state, they'll tell you like I am a farmer. Yeah, like here, over here, back to the farm, and then we'll you can go right click on one. Oh, a little baby guy running around. Oh, farmer. Yeah, it tells you what Librarian. class they are. Librarian. Oh, okay. Don't worry about the zombies. They don't break in often. Now, why do you have librarians in there? Shouldn't you just kill them off and make farmers in there? Oh, no, no, no. I'm going to show you it's the good stuff now, Jerome. This is what makes Balam Balam. This is what makes people really salty sometimes that Balam feels OP to them. Although Vix, in fairness, Vix villager operations have grown. So let's be fair, guys. So there's an enchanting table down there. Whatever, that's not the important th stuff. Check this out. I'm gonna cry. Mm hmm. <laughs> what does all of this mean? Check out their trades. Thorns. What the heck? So as far as I'm concerned, I have an infinite number of whatever I want. I can make unbreaking threes all day long. Choco, I I'm like make... speechless. What the heck is going on here? And when the conclave is up and completely done, it'll be even better. What's the conclave? The conclave is going to be a souped up version of this. Well, part of it is going to be a souped up version of this. There's actually more to it than that, but yeah. Choco, I love it. <laughs> I am in love <laughs> with this base. Isn't it nice? Yeah, it's beautiful, bud. Mm. And so it's really cool. So like, if I, you know, if, let's say I enchant a diamond pickaxe, right? Uh -huh. And it ends up with like efficiency three, fortune three, whatever, or efficiency three, efficiency four, and something else. I can max it out with the rest of the books here. And efficiency I can basically... five. Mm -hmm. There's a power five. Oh, one. I have efficiency five. Four, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, your your gear is literally maxed out. There, there can't be anything better on there. Oh my god. Yeah, so that's it's all pretty like swagged out, honestly. The only thing is beautiful. Mm, the only thing is that you do need quite a bit of emeralds and quite a bit of levels, but I'll show you the tail end of that at the end of the Balam tour. Now you have to make a decision. Would you like to see the extended Balam tour or just like the short version? I mean, how long is the extended Balam? Well, I show you the keep, which is my base area, which is like a we have certain things set up there that we don't have here. Uh, yeah. I mean, why not, right? I mean, let's go check it all out. All right. So this is gonna just. This isn't actually the keep. This is just the iron farm. And this is one of the earliest projects we did here. Jeez, so when did you build it out so far? It has to be away from other doors. So this. Remember, I told you a while oh, ago I that if you built that. one, yeah. Um. Now, if you want to, we have built part of the skeleton. Or the other two. So you see how like we have these two really tall towers here. Yeah. We have. To, we're, I'm going to build two more. So if you like to build one yourself and have your own hand in it, you're more than welcome to. Um, and that would more or less make you an equal owner in this whole operation. But if you jump down and scoot your booty right along, you will end up. You will end up with this. One of the receptacles of the towers. We'll eventually combine them, but basically, you can AFK here. Iron golems will fall, die into the lava, and then drop off iron and poppies. 
They're very romantic that way. Choco, I'm literally... I don't even know what to say. Some of these things are insane. Yeah, How do one of your golem forms there. work, though? Do you mind explaining? Because I actually have no clue. Yeah, so if we go up this little waterfall here... You only have to see one layer. The top layer is basically the same thing as this lower layer here. But whenever you come up, you see how like there's these little pens? Yeah. There are four pens on one in each side, and each one has four villagers in it. There are doors kind of on the outside of it, on like the middle of the two platforms. And basically that shows it as a village. So iron golems think, okay, there's a village, I need to protect the villagers. And so they'll try to put it in the center of it, so it'll spawn it somewhere in this water pool. The water pushes the iron golems down, and then they just go straight down the shaft and die. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna do it. Mm. No, Jerome. Goodbye, forever, Jerome. No, no, it's my friend. There's no way out from there. Oh Jesus! It's terrifying. <laughs> it really is. Iron golems are surprisingly. Do you know they don't take fall damage, by the way? Hmm. I mean, I guess it makes sense. They're made of iron, but I never really thought about it. You know? Yeah, I just thought. I don't know. I kind of thought an iron golem even would take fall damage. It seems weird they don't. Oh, I hit my head. Where are you? I'm right behind you. Oh. Jesus. Good grief, Charlie Rabbit. Oh, I fell again. <laughs> All right, going back up. Awesome. Alrighty. So where's the next area? Where's the keep? So we're. I'm gonna. We're gonna go to the keep area. I'm gonna show you. Simon, Alvin, and Theodore. Named after the three chipmunks. Which I also got endless amount of crap for because I forgot the name to the image. I got Simon and Theodore confused. Well, Simon's the... I mean, Theodore is the, the chubby one, right? Yes. And Simon is the the, the nerd, right? The, the, yeah. The, yeah. Okay, yeah, so I remember. How do you forget that? I, I got them confused. I thought Simon was the was the green one. The little roly-poly one. And then Theodore was the... Because Theodore sounds like a nerdier name. Theodore. Just say it, Theodore. It just it sounds Theodore. nerdier. Yeah, I guess so. When you put it that way. But, I mean, I don't know. When I think Simon, I think glasses, you know? Maybe that's because uh, I grew yeah. up with, you know, Alvin and the Chipmunks, but... Yeah, I, I guess I Probably. just never really it's watched just... very much Elvin and the Chipmunks, and I think about it. I mean, yeah, I mean, and think about it, it's not like I watched them all the time, but I definitely saw my fair share of, you know, Elvin and the Chipmunks. Mm -hmm. Who didn't? I didn't. I didn't have a childhood. Yeah, bye. Boy. Peace, peace, peace. all these nether portals everywhere. It's scaring me. Mm. Honestly, that middle nether portal is more or less turned into a safeguard. All right. Um... Alrighty, welcome to the keep. Okay. What's with this little stone wall here? Look up. It's my base. Yeah, you know, but this thing. Oh, I don't know. It's random. <laughs> but Jesus in heaven, Shoko. What is. Alvin, it? Simon, and Theodore. Uh, oh, they're all kind of stuck together right now. Uh, Come on. They've merged into one unit. <laughs> oh my god. We're collecting them. <laughs> How do you keep getting them? Oh, we just kind of find them and we just pull them over to the pit and we just drop them in. Of course, well, I think Theodore was the one that got really like cheeky about it and started picking up armor on the way and it was weird. <laughs> yeah, he oh started just, just stealing stuff off the ground. But yeah, so this goes all the way up and it's connected to this old bridge network. We're eventually going to fill it out one day, maybe. Hopefully, we pray, we dream. Sure, but, this is insane. Like, this is so much brick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty large. Um, but, yeah, we have... This is the infinite villager farm design. Um, okay. It's a little more compact in terms of, like, horizontal space, but there's a vertical element to it, though, where we have, like, this one lonely villager stuck down there for all eternity. And then we'll put doors. If you put doors back in, then they'll start breeding like crazy. And now just a general question. The way you got these villagers to begin with is you converted to certificate zombies, right? Mm-hmm. These are Avenger, or originally they were just two villager zombies that were converted. All right, I got to get around to getting weakness or put a broom stand set up and then get, get, blah, 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 then get some weakness potions. All right, and let's start from the top of this thing because this is, this is going to be part of the Conclave's operation. 
This is the visible slash the publicly known part. So. Okay. This giant square thing in the sky is my mob grinder. This will lead into the array of hoppers. So whenever they splat into the ground, all their loot goes into the hopper system and downward. Rates are pretty good. I have to reset the system by going up there. But eventually we're going to add like potatoes and carrots and stuff. What the heck? This is beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. It honestly gives us a pretty decent share of things. I just have to make sure I reset it though. Otherwise it just kind of like sits there derping. So you get cool stuff like uh, ender pearls and endermen or? Mm, it, it's, the one that I have is not enderman friendly. Um, it just has, I think it's, what, spiders, skeletons, and zombies. Every now and then it gets, like, raw chicken randomly. I gotta get to the end at some point. And this is the furnace array. Have you been to the end yet? Mm, yes. Although, the ender dragon's already been defeated, and yeah. I didn't really feel like spending too much time there, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I would only go there to steal some endstone, and, I mean, eventually I'd like to do an enderman grinder. Oh, you can build endstone, those. huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm in the end, so... <laughs> uh, uh, uh. But no, I would like to get some Enderman um, stuff as well. Mm-hmm, absolutely, yeah. I mean, I'd be down to help you with that probably at some point. I don't know when, but probably... Actually, I guess we're pretty far along. But yeah, so this thing, it takes... It'll refuel itself whenever... Well, it kind of, like, distributes all the items equally. I don't have to personally do it, and it'll feed all the, like, product afterwards down the hopper system, so... It's nice. You just put a fuel in there, and then you can put the whatever you want to smelt in there, and it'll take care of it for you. It's handy. So it's just auto smelts? Mm hmm. Auto smelter. And then it delivers it into the next step, which is this the item sorter stuff. Oh, yeah, we also have a watermelon pumpkin farm thingy that constantly is going in the background, but it's not really all that important. And this so is the storage. I'm terrified, man. <laughs> Don't be scared. He's only the game. So are these... Oh, okay, there's nothing in these. Well, oh, there's some. Wait. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, certain ones less so than others. Good grief. What? <laughs> Thank you very much, Aaron, for the $50 donation. Keep smiling. No thumping noses. Jeez. Keep her in. <laughs> Thank you very much. I promise no nose thump in here. Everyone's well behaved actually in my community. But yeah, so this is nice. Um, you can actually check out the mob loot here. We have a lot of string. Not so much spider eyes because you have to manually kill them, but gunpowder. Oh yeah, creepers. Yeah, gunpowder, skeleton bones, and rotten flesh. Today's. It's handy. I love oh, it. and arrows. We have lots and lots of arrows. If you ever need arrows, let me know. I see you hiding back there. Oh, right? god dang it. <laughs> I was like, when I got away, I was like, yes, hide, I'll live here forever. Yeah, the pumpkin. Do you want to see the pumpkin thing? Pumpkin thing? Sure. All right. This one's a little bit weird to get to because I never made it official. There it is. Automatic pumpkin farm. Wow. You really have done everything there is to do in Minecraft, haven't oh, you? Oh, not even close. <laughs> I that wish. terrifies me. There's a lot to do in Minecraft. Uh, it hurts. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, there's like, I think I've gotten through maybe 15, 20% of my list of things I need to do in Minecraft, and it's I have a lot more to go. <laughs> yeah. well, this Here's is my brewing thing. Right now, I think it's set to give me what? level two wait it, you can make an auto brewing stand mm -hmm. i don't i i kind of removed all the water balls but yes it would work um jeez yeah. is there any nether warts still left in the nether or i'm sure there is somewhere it probably isn't practical to find one you'd have to find a new nether fortress Ugh. do you know would anyone be down to trade like would you be willing to trade some or do you know anyone that would oh or? yeah you can take as much as you want from Melon. There's way too much of it. Really? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, well, thank you, buddy. Yeah, I need it for uh, potions and stuff, but I figured someone would have already taken it all. Mm-hmm. Oh, my lord. What's up? 
Thank you again, Aaron, for another fifty dollar donation. You can't. That song is actually the song for if you're the top donator of the month. So you matched it. So unfortunately, you have the same donation amount. So you won't hear the song again. Kappa. But yeah, and also, too good for noob says I'll pay you five more. He donates five bucks and says I'll pay you five more if you either kill him, which I'm not gonna do. Oh, I a stack of raw fish. By the way, I donated earlier. Yeah, I saw that you donated earlier. Thank you again. But um, apparently they want me to give you a stack of raw fish. Well, I would not complain. I mean, that's a Vodka's <laughs> favorite meal. I don't know if I have a whole stack of it, though. Maybe one day in the future. Too good for noobs. I don't know if I have it on deck. One day in the end stone, maybe. All right, so two more things. One real quick stop, and then the last thing on our tour. Perfect. Here is the inside of the keep. It's still under heavy renovation. We just built the skeleton, basically. But the throne. The rest is work in progress. Kappa. I love it. This is awesome, Choco. Mm, makes me happy inside. <laughs> Jeez. So is that all of Balam then? This is the keep. The Balam. Like, Balam is its own kind of town and stuff. And it's just more for, like, everyone that's allied or whatever else. Uh, this is my actual base, and there's a secret area that I cannot show you, unfortunately. Oh, yeah, there's like these towers and stuff, and I'm pointing, but. Jeez. Um, yeah, well, it's like yeah. some secret stuff to, like, the keep area that I can't show you. Perhaps well, one day. Jeez, well, thank you, Chogo, for the tour. I mean, this is awesome, and congratulations. You've really. Uh, oh, we're not done. There's the... one more thing. Oh. Oh, there's geez. One more thing, Jerome. Jesus. This is the thing that I'm famous for on the server. This is what makes. Choco the Chocobo and HTM. Whenever you think Choco the Chocobo and HTM, I'm pretty sure chat would agree with me. There's only one thing that most people think about. Besides absurd randomness and donk. Okay, well, donk I'm things. waiting. We have to go back towards Crossroads, which is which works out because we have to go back to your base. But we have to go up to Crossroads and I'll show you. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, because we have to get back to my... Oh, wait, wait for me. i got to eat some bread. Because we uh, need to get back to my base... Uh to make the next episode with the chicken farm. You know, which is apparently nothing compared to everything else you've done here, but... Hey, I mean, it's we all start out somewhere, though. I mean, I started off being scared and being really excited when I found iron. <laughs> so, I mean, no. <laughs> there was a time, Jerome, when I was like, I have diamonds, I have three diamonds, I'm rich, I will live forever. Oh, uh, it was sad. I had a mining episode the other day where I got like 50 something diamond, or sorry, 30 something diamond. 30 something. That is pretty hype, honestly. Yeah, I think it was like 38. I, I was excited about that. I thought I was, I thought I was cool. Dude, that is pretty cool. Although, I think right now the Diamond King. Oh, well, actually, no. Maybe not. I think I might be it. I <laughs> used to be the Di Diamond King, though. He, he killed it for a long time. Wait, who did? Allie. Oh, how he, many did he have? He went on diamond mining sprees that man mined a lot <laughs> for a while he mined quite a bit pd has probably the best record for most efficient diamond collection because he went on like this crazy gathering sesh and yeah it's pretty nuts but aaron thank you again for another 50 dollar donation jeez i i thought you pronounced my name correctly i didn't hear the mispronunciation all the way up dun, 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 dun. have you been wait have you been up here before to the very top no what's up here <laughs> Indeed, what is up here? Shelco, don't do that. Don't be scared. I don't. Bakas get excited easily. <laughs> if you pee on me, <laughs> I'm gonna shoot this arrow straight up and hit myself no, in the face. No, baby, please. I think it's gonna hit me in the face. Oh, oh, oh Jerome! Nailed him! <laughs> you <laughs> son of a gun. Did I really just nail that shot? How did it, how did it miss me and clip you? Oh, oh, that's God. so epic, dude. No, oh, no, I dropped the bow! It's not gone forever, is it? I'm gonna get it. I'll get it. I'll go get it. I got it. I got it. I got it. You got it? Yeah, Baka ever redeemed. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> Jesus, this is dirting out bad. <laughs> oh, man. Are you just dropping debris now? <laughs> <laughs> sticks. Hey, sticks and stones may break my bones. Yeah, well, Gold what about will Flint? Always cure me. No! And you can have some. Actually, I need a lot of that stuff. <laughs> Never mind. All right, Jerome. What level are you right now? Twenty-seven. Okay. Uh -oh. Sick. Um. 
Glass pane. Why is that coming through as not a... Oh, because I'm using the football texture pack. Lol. <laughs> All right. Um, sit in the little minecart here. Yes. All right. Don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. All right. Get those snowballs ready. Get the footballs. Or the football, since you stole the texture pack. I never changed it from the Super Bowl video we did, like, a week ago. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Yeah, just keep it on. Everyone loves it. <laughs> so I just throw footballs now instead of snowballs, but go on. Um, at the end of the track, there's going to be a zombie pigman. His name is Sir Rage a lot. Okay. Hit him with snowballs, nothing else. Okay. You have to hit it at the very end of the track, sort of. Like, really close to the end Will of the track. Will this make pigman zombies mad at me forever? No. Okay. I believe in you, Jerome. I'm scared. Don't be scared. What am I gonna move? Uh oh. It's it's automatic. Don't worry about it. So it just hit him with a snowball and that's it. Mm hmm. Where do you get the idea for most of these contraptions anyway? Mm, some of them are from different YouTubers and stuff like that. Others are kind of self-determined. Hmm. Well, let's uh. What's going on here? Yeah, Choco, what, what's going on? Here, give me a little push. Give me a little push. There we oh, go. there you go. Yep. <laughs> I was, like, waiting. I'm like, how long do I wait for, Choco? All right, this guy right here. <laughs> Oi! I mean, I saw I got sent backward. Choco! Yeah. yeah, you have to hit him. I told you, you have a small opportunity there. Oh, okay. Well, don't give me another opportunity. Yeah. This don't is worry. butts. Yeah, it's automatic. He'll go back. Put it back in the game, coach. I'll score. Here, just give me a push. I I'm expecting you to. You're a star quarterback. Hey, slight push, slight push. No, you don't need a slight push. It'll automatically deploy. All right. So now, oh, how are you supposed to aim it through that little crack? <laughs> I believe in you. Oh, nailed him! <laughs> nice job. Uh-oh. I hear a lot of angry pigmen. You're fine, you're fine. You may want to turn your volume down a little bit, though. Also, Aaron, thank you for another $50 donation. That's crazy. Thank you very much, Aaron. They're all dying. I just said do one more for funny. You sound like you need a smile. This is oh, awful. No, They're all insane. dying. Don't worry about You're it. You're killing those innocent pigmen. They're, um, listen here. You don't have to get the snowballs out anymore. Now you oh. just take your hands off the keyboard and the mouse and just relax. Does this go on for as long as you let it? Oh, yeah. So you could just sit here for, like, hours. Days, even. And they'll just keep spawning? Mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't give you much XP, though. Wait for it. You have two more rounds to go before you start hitting the stride. Oh, until you start getting like a ton of XP? I don't want to quite describe it as a ton of XP, but that's a decent amount more. Jesus. And this should actually be a good sweep right here. Let's see on the way back. Oh my dear god. That just got me two and a half levels on that one little spree. Yep, and now it's in its stride, so you're going to get a bunch more on the way. Well, a little bit on the way forward and a lot more on the way back. This is ridiculous. Oh, my God. No, that's not all there is to it, so. What do you mean? There's more? Oh, yeah. Well, what else is there? I'll show you. Whenever you when, are you done with the experience part? Uh, yeah, man, I guess so. I got enough levels. I mean, I don't even know what I'm going to do with 30-something levels. <laughs> All right, whenever you're done, just shift out and then walk around. Okay. This is beautiful. Then, good God. What? Too good for noobs. <laughs> $51 donation. I will beat all donators. My God. Good job, I guess. I hope you can afford it. I hope you're not going too crazy. Are you really sapping the last bit of XP? Yeah, I don't, I don't oh, get to do this every day. Crazy, man. I might as well get like a quick level out of it. Hold on. Not there, level pleb. 33. All right, I'm good. You're no pleb. Come on. Wait, why even use the minecart? You could literally just stand here like this. And well, just take it all. It, it, it's just kind of... It, there's something that happens with the aggro that keeps them all aggravated and they spread aggro with each other. Just throw a diamond or gold sword at me? Yeah. Yeah, what That's you gonna do rude. about it? I'm gonna throw a football at you now. <laughs> Dare you to jump to me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where are we going now? Alright, so, Gee. you see this chest here? These two columns of chests are all rotten flesh, right? This is gold blocks. How? So we have gold nuggets in here. They're still empty. 
Check out this gold. Er. Choco, this is insane. Yeah, this is why we have lots of uh, apples. Oh. Of very expensive quality. I wondered how you got so many gold apples. Alright, hold on one second. Let me just reset these so I don't end up getting killed arbitrarily one day when I forget about them. Oh, are they supposed to be up? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oopsies. Please don't fall like PD did. That was almost traumatizing. <laughs> Alright, so head back down. Uh, and... I'm going to parachute down to get quicker. Oh! Oi. Oi. Fish, fish, fish. Alright. Alright, cool, cool. Now. Don't tell me there's more. See this chest right here? Yeah. See how there's like a bajillion rotten flesh? Uh-huh. Remember all that gold from up there? Yeah. This is why I have infinite emeralds. Because Clarence is here, and we can trade him the rotten flesh and the gold, and oh. we basically just cycle all the emeralds out. That's how we get infinite redstone, lapis, glowstone if we wanted it. Um, Dear God. Yeah, so, I mean, like in my ender chest, I have like stacks of emerald blocks. I have stacks of I have emerald blocks randomly scattered throughout the world. Um, Jesus, Joko. But yeah, so this is probably the thing I'm known most for on HTM. And this is probably the most important part of Bell, honestly speaking. Wow, well, yeah, as I was saying earlier when I thought I was done, thanks so much for the tour. I mean, this was insane, man. Like, that, that is amazing. I'm, I'm literally, like, mind blown from this tour. Oh, there's also another one over there if you want to take a quick peek. I don't think we should go up there because it's the same idea, but... Oh, it's the same concept, I mean. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's a different design, though. It's a donut. Oh. Well, of course. This is, this is for guest use. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to test this other one that, um, another guy designed for circular cascading, but it doesn't really work very well. Hmm. It works fine. You'll still get to, like, level, I don't know, like, if you're there to attend it, you can go up to the level, like, Probably a hundred or so comfortably, but it's not really practical. Dang. But yeah. Well, yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys once again. Hope you all enjoyed. Please go check out Choco's channel down below in the description. Thanks so much for the tour, Choco. And be sure to leave a like and comment with what you want to see me do in my world. But apart from that, take care, everybody, and peace out. Bye.